Well, night time is the right time for a video blog. I went out to uh, give me some lights, and I got some lights. Look at them, they're lights. Um, they're cheap Home Depot lights because I went to a camera shop in town and they didn't have any cheap <laughs> photography lights, which I thought you could get. I looked online and I'm like, you get them for like $800. I go to the camera shop, the cheapest ones they have are like $150. Uh, so I got a couple of work lamps from a uh, Home Depot for 30 bucks each. <laughs> I'm vlogging. I'm not doing... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I got the lamp because often enough inspiration hits you to talk about nonsense in the middle of the night rather than during the day when you're busy actually doing important things. Uh, today, well, I wasn't doing anything important today. I was reading the internet all of the internet and uh, ran across something and it dawned on me that a lot of the same problems that you see with homosexuals claiming not to be able to help their behavior pop up when you see homosexuals claiming um, that there's nothing wrong with homosexuals raising children and the issue with it is they've got all these studies that purport to say that it doesn't hurt children but all the studies that are completely neutral about children that don't have to do with homosexuals uh, say the children do better, their parents will get married, stay married, and raise them. Well, how is it possible that uh, that only holds true if the parents aren't homosexual? Because clearly, homosexuals are not having their own children. Uh, and you hear this all the time, well, what about lesbians being artificially inseminated? Well, there's 0.011% of the population that we need to kowtow to <laughs> so the rest of us can suffer for the rest of our lives. There is a point at which science has to give way to reason. <laughs> you can't do objective, controlled science on all of society. And if you can't even agree on terms like what might be good or bad for anyone, and some of these studies that I've seen begin to just twist in the wind as to what they, they consider a good or bad thing. Are they really happy? Does it really matter? You know, at the end of the day, they just want to do what they want to do and to hell with anybody else. And you can't argue with that. There's no argument to be presented for, I'm going to do what I want to do, and uh, any objections that you have that might be moral and ethical or just religious and therefore immaterial. And again, I, I'm defying, I've never seen an atheist come up with an ethical system. I don't think it's possible. I've actually read some psychology where the psychologists who try to get down to the, the nitty-gritty of what it means to be mentally ill, and they start talking about, well, what does ill even mean in terms of mentality? You know, we talk about illness in terms of disease, but to the bacteria, us being sick is immaterial, you know? <laughs> Disease is just part of nature. It's not good or bad. It just is, you know? And it's the same way with your perceptions and your feelings and your emotions. Good and bad is only meaningful to the subject of the good or bad emotions. And so why are we all supposed to kowtow to the tiny handful of people who are gay and lesbian and bisexual and transsexual and queer and whatever else no matter how twisted it makes all us feel, for the sake of that tiny handful. And especially when it comes to dealing with children. You're never going to get science that's going to dictate, oh, well, children actually do better, because they can just twist in the wind forever. There's no objective thing that you can put your hand on and say, oh, there it is, you know, this. This is child better, child worse. You can say, well, the child is wealthier. Well, wealth doesn't mean happiness. Well, the child says they're happier. Well, and happy in what way? Well, you know, melatonin levels. Melatonin, you know. <laughs> it's just... You would have to have a melatonin meter attached to somebody for 24 hours, 7 for 60 years, I think, before any of them would seed anything. Most of the stuff that's out there is pretty damn convincing. You know, kids do better economically. Kids report fewer suicidal ideations. Uh, kids suicide less often, you know, every conceivable thing is better for the kids if their parents will get married and stay married and raise them. And you even have these things like 
old sayings like beat like a redheaded stepchild, which just shows you what happens to kids who don't get raised by their own parents. You know, that didn't come from nowhere. It came because people perceived <laughs> that parents resent the children of previous liaisons with their current lovers. And there's really just no end to the arguing. But if you actually care about people, and specifically children, it's time to put a stop to this nonsense. There's no excuse for it. We have got to stop tolerating raw, unmitigated evil. And it starts with reestablishing what it means to be a family. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.